Hello, good day and welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at os.open. In the previous video, we used os.create to create a file in a file system. It gave us this file pointer to our file object back and we were able to use that to write to the file and then of course close the file. Then we verified that our data was written to the file successfully. Now today we're going to assume that oh, we have a file already, which we do, the one we created earlier, and now we want to read data from that file. So we're going to do os.open and it's going to open the file for us to be able to read data. Now the thing is, we can open a file and append data right to it or read from it. So let's jump in and take a look. One of the things that we're going to be doing today, like we said, is learning to read from a file. So we're going to use the read method. And we're going to get to a file by using open. And if you look at open, it looks very much like the create takes the same parameter, returns the same thing. But once we have a file, then we can go ahead and just use the typical read method that we know from io.read. And then of course, we're gonna be able to um, close the file also. We wanna definitely do that when we finish reading. Same thing as when we finish writing to a file or reason, using any io sort of thing. Uh, we're gonna start off as usual. We make a copy of our previous example, change to the directory, and start up our code editor. We'll then, um, start modifying the code so that we use the same file we created yesterday. And instead of using it to write, we're gonna use that file to read from it. So let's go into the CLI directory where we're gonna be able to run our code. And so this is um, the example that we had yesterday. We're gonna change um, the description up here. So just basically opening a file and reading from it. I will need to update my Visual Studio code right now. I can do that later, but um, we're not going to worry about which method we use for opening a file. And so we change from create to open. Remember, the signature of the function look exactly the same. We're going to then um, check for errors before, but now we need a buffer in which to read our bytes into from this file. So we can create a buffer with maybe 200 bytes, let's say. That should be big enough to read um, those lines that we wrote yesterday. And so all we need to do now is get rid of all these lines and we're gonna turn this into just one read. And so we're gonna try and read all of it in one go. So we say f that read and we're gonna pass it our buffer. Um, of course, this is gonna return the number of bytes read and if there was an error. Now we can ignore it if we want, but here we're gonna um, do a fatal on error, which means if we fail to read from this file, we're gonna end the program. Um, we still need to handle um, the in variable because we're not using it right now. So Golang is complaining about that. And so we're going to print out our buffer. And so we just cast a buffer of bytes to a string, print that out. And then we're going to, of course, close the file. Now, if we close the file at the end, there's nothing wrong with that. But I don't want to forget that I'll, um, I have to close the file. So it's best to move the close um, closer up to where you open it and you use a defer statement. So you guarantee that how the file gets closed before this function exit. So in regards to whatever happened afterward, if you do a number of operation and decide to leave this function in another way, you still guarantee that how the file is gonna be closed. So now let's run our code. And it shouldn't be any surprise, what we're gonna get is the content of our file. And we see that oh, those three lines total 57 bytes. And that's it, there's nothing else to it. It was this easy. Open, read, and close. All right, so that was our example there with open reading and um, from a file, open reading from a file. So I hope you're enjoying this. Um, this was nice and short. I was able to do that because I recorded it and then dub over it and sped it, sped it up a little bit. So I hope you don't mind that as just trying to make the video shorter so I don't waste your time. I do appreciate all the time you spend with me. So take care, have a great day. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Spread the word, encourage others to look at the video, follow the series, and of course, please hit that thumbs up button. Really, really appreciate you taking the time to watch. Take care, have a great day. See you in the next video.